Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, welcome to the channel. This video is going to be about welding the rest of the car up and getting it ready to paint. Now, I know we've shown a lot of welding videos over the last few weeks, and I promise this will probably be the last big one. I mean, and there's a few other small welding projects we'll do as we wrap this car up. But we intend this to be the last major push of the welding. And we're dropping this video for consistency to show the entire build as a good part of our build is showing what can be accomplished by a group of people in their backyard shop. So please bear with us as we go through the rest of this. Oh, and by the way, please hit the big thumbs up on this video, drop some comments below, and share with your friends. Now let's see what Sully and Corey have to say. Hey guys, it's Corey and Sully from the Bad Gas Productions crew. Welcome back, guys. We're, uh, we're at it again tonight. Yeah, so I guess in tonight's video, uh, now that we have the floor completed, oops, Sully's dropping some tools. The guy's got the floor in, uh, so now we're, uh, we have the floor completely welded in, now ground down. We're gonna start work on repairing some, some rust holes. A little patch down here in the quarter. It's gonna need a little bit of inner structure. Also, inner trunk dropouts on this side. Little, little soft. We're gonna get rid of that, get, get rid of any of the rot. Plus we got a little kind of dent there. We're gonna to try to straighten that out as best we can. And again, there's a couple of patches on the back that we'll show you later. But uh, that's it, cutting and grinding. Cutting and grinding. So folks, we started at the back of the car, taking the old wing off and removing the bumper. And joy, we found a problem we didn't know we had. Rusties. Look over here. Hey. That's some good Nova Scotia or Alberta can of rust. Yep. Yep. She's, uh, she needs some help. All right, so when we got the bumper off and had a look at this, started cleaning it up, started to see it was a lot worse than we thought. So we're going to have to clean all this up here. We're going to have to cut kind of cut out this piece right now and kind of get it set with a piece of, piece of cardboard here, get it drawn out, get a template and uh, make a new piece, weld her back in and then actually see what we can do down here. But for now, this is the main spot. This right here was repaired before you can see. So we're gonna cut this back out, see what we got and go from there. some welding kit. All right, so this side here is not as bad. We got uh, down here in this left corner here, she got a little, uh, little rot. Down here she was jacked on, so we're gonna have to pull this out, see what we can do. Uh, we may have to do some pit repair. We've got some bondo here, so when we cut this piece out, we'll see how far we gotta go. But seems like even in this area here, we're gonna have to put a pat patch. Just not as bad as the other side. But like I say, we'll get it cut out. And see what we gotta do then. Yeah. 
well through there first. I could probably even And I have to make a thicker piece to go here. Yeah, there you go. And then make the thin piece to go over top and pinch it all together down here. Oh, yeah. All right, bad guys crew. So, Sully and I hey. are under this vehicle doing some more cutting. So, at this point in time, we've got uh, this section cut out here. Yeah. The trunk drop out, and now we have to try to cut this section out here so we can replace this as well. So, a little tighter quarters to get up in there, Sully, but uh, we'll do the best we can to try to make it work. Let's do it. All right. Okay, bad gas crew. We uh, did some more cutting up in this spot, and we finally got, uh, finally got that rusty piece cut out. Tried to make it as straight as possible. So now we're ready to clean this up a little bit and then uh, get some templates made for some new metal. Is that what you're doing over there now, Sully? No, I'm watching you. But you're doing a great job. Nice work. You must work for the government. I always work for the government. <laughs> no, no <funny> <laughs> Making some panels, buddy, with this plasma cutter. Having a good time or what? Definitely good learning process. But if you're not, uh, if you're not learning something, what's the purpose, right? That's true. Making the pad panel after we build the structure across here, this will basically be the body metal skin that covers everything up and makes it look pretty. Nice. Even though you will never ever see it. I know. Mm -hmm. But it'll be done. But You'll know be... in your heart it's right. I'll, I'll know it's done right. If not, it'll piss me off. Gas shop. Uh, we didn't show a lot of welding this up, so I'm just going to kind of go through what we did. Basically, it was like this. We took the bumper off, we found some surprises, so more surprises. And it's pretty common with this kind of car. So basically, we had to reinforce uh, the back of the rear frame horn as it came out. This panel actually comes down as one piece and then it splits into two and it's kind of hollow through here to give it structure. So inside we uh, welded a thicker plate to actually get the bumper uh, horn in the back to stiffen that up. Then flange back down in behind where the trunk dropout is. Another flange across here. Then replated the inside and then replated the outside. All separate pieces. So basically the way the car was made, it was all six different pieces sandwiched together and spot welded. And we basically recreated that. So now onto the other side. Sully working his magic with the magic stick. What are you working on over there? Plugging holes. Plugging holes? Your favorite type of work? Favorite type of work. working on Sean? Well we seem to have some perforation in the back quarter slash door jam area and we're making some templates to recreate the piece and 
make it all look pretty again. As pretty as you? Well, let's, let's be reasonable now. So this patch was made by Jean in a number of pieces to mimic the exact contours of the car from side to side. You can see him using some magnets here to hold it together while he tacks it in place. That sort of piece one, two, and three that were all pre-welded together. On the right hand side you can see a flange that he welded in for the uh, inner wheel well and then the last two pieces uh, well over top of that. So you can see Sean fitting in the final piece here. Notice how the spot welds are spaced out. That's to avoid putting too much heat in the panel and warping it. Eventually you cover all the panels with little spot welds like that and go back and forth until you fill them all in. Here you can see it's all welded in. And then eventually you grind all those spots smooth. Okay, that's where we're gonna wrap up the welding. Of course, we skipped a few little things. And unfortunately, the conclusion video to the back passenger side got lost thanks to an Apple snafu. Thanks, Apple. So far, this project has been a lot of dusty, dirty work, but we're really happy to say the Phoenix is rising up out of the ashes. In the coming videos, you will see us assembling the rear end, painting the bottom of the car, the firewall, the back of the car, and the trunk and putting the wheels back under the project. We're super proud of where this car sits today and that hopefully this shows you what can be done by a bunch of DIYers in a home shop. And now for a service announcement from my friend Corey. Hey guys, it's Corey from Bad Gas Productions. If you like this video, hit that like button so we can continue to provide you with the content that you wanna see. And be sure to hit that subscribe and notify so you can stay up to date with the most current Bad Gas Productions content. From the crew here at Bad Gas, pedal down and hands on the wheel.